Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And so listen, we just had a conversation about Jeff Zucker, the CNN, well, former um, CNN president. He resigned because he had an inappropriate relationship with a colleague. Um, it was not any type of Me Too, you know, situation. Um, it was consensual. From what I understand now, it was definitely consensual. Um, so, you know, it wasn't like an abuse of power or anything like that. But I'm listening to The View, right? And they were talking about the situation. And so I did, did a little Googling and I ran across an article from Fox News. Girl, yes, Fox News. You know they was gonna report on it. Anything they got, anything that's negative, they got to do with CNN. Just go to Fox. If you're trying to find out what's going on with CNN, just go over to Fox News, girl. Anyways, child. So they were talking about the conversation that the ladies had at the View, and so this is the information that I just found out. Of course, watching the View, and also I wanted to read the article because. I don't want to play the clip and play with the tube and all that stuff. All right. So basically, this is what it says. Um, Sonny Hostin, co-host of ABC's The View, called on Allison Golist. That's her name. That's the woman that Zeb Zucker um, had a relationship or has a relationship with um, to leave CNN Thursday over her relationship um, with now former president Jeff Zucker. Uh, during a segment discussing Zucker, and Golust consensual relationship, which the two failed to disclose, leading to the former, the former's departure from the net. Hassan just suggested the latter should quit or be removed because the because of the appearance of impropriety. Um, as women, we don't want other women to be held. As women, don't we want other women to be held to the same standards that we hold men? Hassan asked. Um, when the other panelists expressed agreement, Hostin went on. Everyone said that Jeff Zucker has to go. Why does Allison get to keep her job when she also had an incredible indiscretion and an incredible lack of judgment? Um, others on the show noted that Gola's status as one of Zucker's top lieutenants and possible career advancement from her relationship with him was problematic. Um, she started out as a publicist. Now she's the executive vice president at CNN. It could be interpreted that she got those positions, those promotions, because of that relationship. Let me say something. I literally just was talking about this in my other video. And I was basically saying for those who didn't watch the video um, or, haven't, or haven't seen the video yet, whatever. But I was basically saying that, you know, it just... <laughs> It doesn't matter how you slice it or dice it, pretty much. It's just not acceptable. It's inappropriate. It's not professional. Like, even if she was well qualified, like they say that she is, it just doesn't look right. And in the workplace, I think that most people at least want to believe, even though we know it doesn't work that way, that people got their position, <laughs> girl, not because you were screwing the boss. We know people get in positions all the time that are not qualified. We know they get in positions all the time and are not qualified is because of their mom, it's because of their daddy. My daddy, my daddy, oh, my mommy, my mom, right? So we know people get in positions all the time and they're not qualified. But I just believe, you know, that you should not be having, again, for me, it's inappropriate relationships. I think she should go too. And I was saying in my other video, what if, even if she got moved to a different department, I still don't think that's good enough. I understand that people are busting it low and spreading it wide in the workplace. Girl, this is not a gotcha, honey. This is not Fellow 21 where it's two sales associates getting it on. Some stuff, people wouldn't, blink, wouldn't think twice about it. But once you start to move and climb up the ladder, you have to start taking those things into account. Like, when I get into this position, I'm going to have to not only uphold the rules that are in place, but I have to also abide by them now, too. It's kind of like, even though you probably were late every day, to once you get, but once you become a manager, girl, not only can you not be late, well, even though you probably are, but now you got to start writing up people for being late. So now you got to uphold the law, right? I think she should go. 
I think she should go. I don't think he's the only one that should have to resign. I think that she willingly got into this, uh, in this, this relationship. She knew what the outcome could be, which is possibly unemployment. He knew, she knew. Y'all knew what the T was and you still did it anyways. So therefore he gonna resign and you gonna resign. And if you don't resign, then we can just go ahead and have you quit. I'm sure there's somewhere, some, some whatever type of work they signed when they took these positions where it talks about situations like these. Girl, they got them at the mile all the time. If they doing it at the mile, if they doing it at Saks and Norsham and Nemus, girl, then I know they doing it at CNN. <laughs> okay. Y'all think she should have to go? And then it, it starts to look one. It starts to look like one of those situations again. How did she get this position? And then from what Sonny said, low key, what it sounded like the girls was already talking, was already it was already whispers from what she said, from what she heard. <laughs> you know, the girls be real messy, girl. They everybody been said what girl from the mile on up, right? So from what Sonny said, she heard. Um, I think Kate. Uh, what's the, what's that white lady name? Katie Couric is that her name? I think in Katie Couric's book, she mentioned it being whispers. I'm gonna put the link to the video so y'all can watch it, so y'all can hear Sunny say it for herself because I can't remember exactly what she said. But she basically said that someone wrote a book or something, and it was basically whispers about this relationship already. They're trying to make it seem as though the relationship just started once all this stuff started happening with the world. But Sonny was saying, girl, she don't even know if that's the truth because they've been talking about that inappropriate relationship between them before the C even hit. Right? So I don't know. I think she should go. I think she should go. Girl, this ain't no abuse of power. This ain't nothing, girl. You knew what the T was. Baby, bye. Y'all are gonna stop taking y'all are gonna stop taking these positions of power and think that all of a sudden, girl, you don't lost your whole job over some coochie. And you about to lose your you about to probably lose yours over something. Girl, it's too much. I get that people spend long hours at work. I get that people spend long days at work. I understand all of that. I understand it. But even with the understanding, girl, it's still, it, it better be a lie. And then the thing is, maybe, maybe if you had just been straight up about it from the get-go, you might not even be in this situation. That's a maybe. I know, what's her name? The white girl? I can't think of her name. Uh, I wouldn't call her Amber. I don't know. I forgot. She, she left and came back. Sarah, Sarah, that's her name. Sarah, I think. She was saying, I guess when she met her husband, um, some could, I guess, have said that it was inappropriate, but right when they started dating or talking, I think her husband let it be known off the rip, I guess, whatever job they worked at, that they were seeing each other. So they instantly moved her to a whole different department, which to me still ain't good enough. Because again, what if you come over here like, oh, make sure you watch out for Sarah. Make sure I watch out for Sarah. I just feel like it could still be looked at with a side eye if you start to advance in the workplace and people know that you're screwing one of the people at the job. Because the first thing I'm going to think is, girl, again, you got this job because you was hopping on the dick and doing a full split. You might be qualified. You might be overqualified. But that's the first thing going to pop in my mind. Because y'all in there bumping boots. Anyways, Adele. I want to say this about Adele. I feel like Adele might be a bird. I never thought I would say that about Adele. <laughs> but I feel like Adele might be a bird. So everybody has been hearing the rumors about um, the problems that her and her boyfriend are allegedly having. Um, they're saying that that's part of the reason why she canceled um, some of her dates for her Las Vegas residency. Now, I remember when this first happened, the fans were upset. 
And I remember people online basically taking up for Adele. I'm going to go ahead and say it since anybody else don't want to say it. People were like, oh my God, she really seems she really seems sincere. You know, she really seems heartbroken. Girl, and the first thing that popped in my mind is Adele is a white woman. Adele ain't no different than the other white women. She can use her tears just like the other ones know how to use theirs. Please don't get it twisted, okay? <laughs> girl. Now, all of a sudden, girl, it's, oh, she seems sincere. Now, if it was any other white woman, y'all would be talking about how, girl, <laughs> girls, all, I'm not saying that she wasn't sincere. What I am saying is, girl, I, it, them tears didn't move me no, no, it didn't move me no other way. Now, I wasn't there. Now, if I was there, I'd have spent all this money to come see you. And now I'm starting to hear stories come out about the real reason why you might have counseled. It backs up what I said even the other day, I would be livid if I was a fan and got there and you canceled 24 hours before you were supposed to hit the stage and I done flew over here and spent $800 like one of the fans was saying, how much on a ticket, $2,000 on a ticket, like just spending money. And you know those Adele tickets are expensive. And then that, and then we started hearing, oh, it's, 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 it's allegedly love and, uh, I mean, trouble in paradise. So she comes out with this picture looking dumb. Looking dumb. And this is what she had to say. Hiya. <laughs> Girl. So I'm really happy to say that I'm performing at the Brits next week. And I'll also be popping in to see Graham for a chat on the couch while I'm in town too. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and Rich sends his love. I said, Girl, sh show me you bothered without, without telling me you bothered. The simple fact that, girl, you even have to add that little part in there, uh oh, and Rich sends his love, is enough to let me know that, girl, more than likely those rumors that are that they're alleged <laughs> that your relationship, girl, is, you know, some cracks starting to pop in it, girl, might be true. I believe it. I believe it. Girl, you have to come out, oh, and Rich sends his love. Girl, no, don't nobody care about no Rich. Girl, we don't even know who that man is. Girl, we just know you hopping on it. That's it. That's your boyfriend. Other than that, don't nobody know who Rich is? Adele, you're bothered. And Adele, I think something going on. I think, girl, I hope you don't be no fool and mess up your <laughs> mess up your money and mess up what you got going on over no rich. <laughs> Anyways, girl. Bath and Body Works. One of you sent me an email. I got the email. Hey, girl. People on social media question the Black History Month collection by Bath & Body Works. So Bath & Body Works has come out with a, and I guess in tribute of Black History Month, they decided to come out and, you know, dress up some of their um, bottles and candles with um, kente cloth, um, just different, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll post some of the pictures. You know, some people are saying that these are the same scents that they've been had. They basically just changed the packaging and they're basically just trying to make money off of black people. Um, these are some of the tweets that people said, Bath and Body Works really threw on a dashiki and said, hey y'all. <laughs> I'll admit that. Why I'm thinking Bath and Body Bath and Body Works have a new fragrance, and it's the same frank, fra same fragrance only in Kente cloth colors. Bath and Body Works slapped on Kente slapped Kente Kente cloth on some on them candles, and y'all about to eat it up. So gold, no new sense, just dashiki style candles and vibes to set to seal the performance. Support these black business businesses and gone about y'all day. So, Bath and Body is doing something new this year. Go, sub go support the Black History Line. I love it, mad respect. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't mad about it. I didn't care about it. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I, I didn't care. I didn't care. Um, maybe I should. You know, I, I mean, it's really no different than what they do. Which, <laughs> in real life, but what y'all think they do during Pride Month? Y'all ain't never noticed that in Pride Month, every company all of a sudden starts throwing rainbows on their clothes just for that one month. <laughs> and then after that one month, honey, girl, we'll see rainbows no more until the next year. 
Because they know that, of course, there are going to be people out there who just eat it up. I remember when it first happened, I was like, oh, when I, well, I'm not going to say when it first happened. When I first started noticing it, because I don't know how long it's going. When I first started noticing, oh, girl, they, put, they be putting rainbows on shoes and clothes and every, Adidas, Nike, everybody. And I thought, this is cute. And then it's just kind of like, girl, y'all really trying to get me for my money. Because y'all know I'm probably going to be excited because they y'all threw a rainbow on something. And I'm going to be eating it up like they just said one of these sweets. Eating it up. And I was like, girl, bye. <laughs> girl, bye. So, I mean, it just depends on how you look at it. If, they, if these are the same scents, again, when I go to Bath and Body Works, I pretty much get the same scents. Um, I rarely stray away from what I already like. Um, I did try, oh, I did try a new scent the other day, a candle. I'm talking about candles. Um, it's called Fresh Morning Spring. Oh, girl. I'm going to put it in my bathroom. But, you know, my, my go-to scent is Mahogany Teakwood. Is it Mahogany te Teakwood? Mahogany Teakwood? That's my go-to scent. I love that. Candles. I don't like the soap, though. The soap is, I bought some soap the other day, and the soap was too... The soap is too, I don't know, it's weird. I love the, I love the candles. I love the wall, what's it called? Wallflowers. Um, I love those. Um, I haven't bought the, the room spray, but the soap, I don't like the soap. I feel like soap should be a little bit more fruity. I, I, I think it should be not fruity, but like floral probably. I don't know. I feel like the soap is too strong. Y'all know what bat y'all know what soap I do want? It's this soap called um girl, it's $65. Girl, let me find it. Girl, it smells so good. When I was at the hotel, when I went to Vegas, like a couple of months ago, I stayed at the resorts. It's like a new hotel, girl. It's nice. It's like the it's the resorts at Las Vegas World, something like that. I say it's a Hilton and it's a Conrad. I stayed on the Hilton side. The Conrad really not too more too much expensive. It's only, like when I went, my room was like forty six dollars, fifty dollars, something like real cheap. Girl, the rooms are very very cute, very cute. The Conrad was like I think seventy five dollars, and I was like I could save my little money. Girl, the rooms are almost the same anyways. Um, Brian, let me see. Girl, we gonna figure this out. Girl, I found a girl. It's um, burrito, <laughs> burrito, <laughs> not burrito. Girl, right here, this right here, baby, I uh, baby. Don't get it twisted. That right there, honey. When I tell you, it smells so good, girl. The soap smells good. The lotion smells good. They have hand soap. Um, uh, they have hand soap. They have lotion, they have uh, body wash, shampoo, condition, all that. Girl, when I tell you, I will wash my hair. And girl, <laughs> my hair ain't but this long. Color, as you can see. Uh, I'm mean, making like I got a wig on and y'all can't see how long my real hair is. Girl, this all, is this all my real hair. Um, girl, my, I can smell my hair all day. Girl, we'll take a shower like the scent just stayed on my body. And so I was really thinking about, girl, I was really over here thinking like, girl, do I really want to spend $65 for like the soap? Girl, I'm talking about a piece. The soap would have been, I think the, the, the soap right here is, the, no, that's the lotion. Sorry. That's the lotion I just showed you. The lotion is $65. I think they're all around $60, $65. Maybe, I think it's between $50 and $65. Yes. Girl, this, is, this, smells, this smells so good. Anyways, I don't know how I got, I, I was talking about Bath and Body Works. I don't know how I got on this high-ass brand brand. Anyways, I really wasn't bothered by the Bath and Body Works. It's just kind of like, girl, either you go I don't know, girl. It's just so, so kind of like, girl, am I going to stop buying Bath and Body Works candles? No. Because, girl, who not, who not about to be spending $80 at one time on a candle? It's me. I ain't got it like that financially yet. Yeah, okay? Now, I can go buy me a couple of candles. Period, right? I can splurge a little bit. Uh, but, girl, I splurge at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> okay, and that girl, they gotta send me. They gotta send me a coupon. They need to send me an email. Okay, then that's what I'm. That's when I'm walking through the mall, girl, with a bag on my wrist, pumping through. <laughs> okay, because I done got candles and wallflowers. I done spent sixty dollars and got about seven candles and some wallflowers. Anyways, 
Um, what else? Who else? Oh, Young Buck arrested and charged with vandalizing ex-girlfriend's property. Shouldn't want to ride. Girl, back in the day, that was my song. When I say I used to turn up the flow, that song, used to, they, they, they used to play that song. It used to be this club in Houston called Maxie's. Girl, we used to go to every Friday night, baby. That was a spot. Um, Young Buck has found himself um, himself in the headlines again. The rapper was charged in Nashville, Tennessee on a vandalism charge Wednesday morning. According to At Tennessee News, he was booked into the Davidson County Jail after an incident at his ex-girlfriend's home. The affidavit filed by the Metro Nashville Police states that the woman alleges Buck texted her. He was going to come come over. And then when he arrived at her home in his vehicle, he began, he began kicking down kicking the front door because she did not answer. Buck eventually left and the woman went outside and found damages done. I think to her car. I didn't get the, I didn't get the rest of it. Girl, young Buck. That's so sad. I almost said something. I wonder if he living in his troop yet. It's okay. You know, everybody got their own walk. But I wonder if he living in his troop. Because, you know, the rumors were swirling. Anyways. Ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. Oh, Lamar. Girl, hush. Lamar Odom said he had a little dream about Khloe Kardashian. I miss her so much, girl. Lamar is in the Big Brother. It's, it's, it's in Celebrity Big, uh, the Big Brother house. I have not watched it. I said I was, and I changed my mind. I'm not watching that mess, um, girl. Nobody on the cast is interesting. Uh, interesting to me. Um, I wish they would have put Nene and Cynthia in the house together. Now that would have probably not probably. I would have tuned in then. Um, I wish they could at least got girl. If they would have at least put New York in the house, I would have tuned in then. But girl, this cast is not interesting to me. Sorry, Cynthia. But girl, he still basically was telling Todrick how he still miss Chloe. Girl, <laughs> girl, what they like? What that girl say that that many y'all posted? Girl, stand up, stand up, girl. Be a man. I'm mad in that part. You over here begging for Chloe? Girl, let me see something. Chloe too busy being stupid over Tristan. She ain't worried about you. Anyways, Lamar, it's time to let it go, baby. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Come on. <laughs> baby, if I, baby, let me say something. If I could sing, y'all, y'all would not hear me shut up. Girl, I feel like if I had a little auto tuning, girl, I could do something. <laughs> now I could sing it straight through, but you give me a little auto tune and fix me up in the studio. Y'all fixing everybody else up? Why y'all can't fix me up? <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.